つまり Hey everyone, Pony here, and guess what? I'm gonna make lob salmon all by myself with no help from my sister. The、I'm、end. Hee <laughs> hee.、Oh. Okay, I'm down like a clown. Let's start with cilantro. Amy, guys, the bathroom has to stay closed because the windows cannot close. And then, so, and the air quality is garbage. The、so、bathroom has to stay closed. Okay. Yes. What are you doing? Chili powder. And we'll be making this. Amy, it, it would look so much cuter if you just took it out of the bag. Because Pony likes cute things. We're gonna take this and cut it, and we're gonna take this and cut it. Oh yes, the first thing that we're gonna do, bro, cilantro. cilantro. We're gonna cut up the cilantro, and we also have some green onion and a couple lemons. Crush. Chili flakes. Crushed chili flakes here,、so、and some kakua, kakua right here. I don't water it for like two days. Mint. <sighs> one of the ingredients is mint. Yes, but we're not picking this guy because she looks really sad and she's suffered enough. Anyways,、uh, we were going to use my mints from my mint plant. But as you can see, I've been a bad plant mom, and I have not been taking care of her. So、uh, we're gonna be gentle and probably not use mint this time. My bad. But it tastes very delicious with mint. Amy, just because I'm smiling on my phone doesn't mean it's a boy I like. It's never a boy I like. Anyways, is this recording?、Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone. Okay, so these are the ingredients for the lob salmon. Amy likes to season it with、uh, chicken stock. What are what are also the seasonings? This is kakua. This is the chili powder. Some lemons and green onion. And this is way too、and、much cilantro. We're not this is way too much, but、um, got a little crazy with it. This is the best kind of fish sauce ever. It's like the best fish sauce. There's crabs on it. And this is the sticky rice. Pony finished this. Green onions. That's a lot of cilantro. We have a family of cilantro. Do we even need that much? Nope, we do not. Twenty minutes later. Behind sharp. Oh, I should rinse these because I did not do that. <laughs> All right. My knife is so garbage. And also, one of the ingredients. Oh my God, Amy, we're filming the ingredients again later. Okay. <laughs> This is a sh on. I'm sorry, Amy. None of the knives are good. Ah, ah. Amy, this is. Oh my God. Ah. Okay. Anyways. Wow. Okay, we're gonna wash this three times. And then leave a little extra water to soak. The sticky rice is best when you soak it overnight. About thirty minutes is good enough to get the job done. I don't wanna wait. For food. I don't wanna make an ass of myself, 'cause I do that all the time. So this is the traditional sticky rice cooker.、Um, you're gonna fill the bottom with water and、uh, 
put it over the stove. The steam is gonna come up and cook the rice. Uh, we're gonna put the sticky rice in this bamboo basket. Like about an inch or an inch and a half. Ooh, that looks good. I'm gonna get that started right now. I'm gonna boil it at medium high heat. And um, I had prepared uh, sticky rice earlier today. So we're just gonna put that one because that has been soaking for a couple hours. Let's rinse off the bamboo basket first. We're gonna transfer this into the bamboo basket. It's gonna look like this. Okay, and then you put this lid and stick it over the top. Okay, let that guy sit until like until it gets uh, translucent. You gotta cut, uh, check on it every couple minutes. It should be done in like 15 minutes once it starts boiling. So down. And okay, another thing. What are we gonna do first? We're gonna cook the salmon. Cook the salmon. That's not with salmon. Chicken <laughs> with chicken broth. Okay, cool. I've never done that, but okay, yeah, let's let's do just this. Like a little bit of chicken broth, a little bit of water. Just, okay. Yeah, you'll see. Because Pony cool. just moved here and have terrible kitchen knives. Yeah, I was already here. She's gonna use her survival knife to this, cook with. This sharpening stone was supposed to be for my Air Force issue survival knife, but you know what? Desperate times, desperate fall, times to call for, times desperate for desperate sharpening measures. stones. Oh, really bad pan. I don't recommend a pan like this. The condition of it. But we got we got to do what we got to do. Um, and we're hungry. We're super hungry. We're counting down the minutes. Turn the stove top to medium heat, um, and then we're gonna put water in it and a little bit of chicken broth, and then I'm gonna slowly cook the salmon with that. But you don't want too much liquids in it. You want to steep inside the salmon. So I'm gonna start now. What is Amy doing? What are you doing, Amy? Over the camera. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> So you want a little bit of water and a third of a cup for chicken broth. I'm sorry, but I've been drinking and my hands are not steady. There are, I think, about um, a pound and a half of salmon. You want the best quality salmon. Skin side down first. And we're just slowly, because the pan is kind of small, we're scooping the liquids of water and chicken broth and just putting it on top to slowly cook the salmon. Done with the salmon. Important flavor is steeping the salmon itself. Okay, now we're gonna dump it into the bowl below. Look at that juicy salmon. Look at how delicious it looks. Look at that, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, fresh salmon. What can be better than this? <laughs> it looks, uh, if you come over here, the rice is a little translucent on the top. So it means that it's time to flip it. It's very hot, guys. I'm a professional, but be cautious. <laughs> My nerves are dead. So we're, you're just gonna push the basket down a little bit, and then now you're gonna like flip it over. Okay, now you flip it over like so. Replace it, add the lid back in, and then it should be ready in like, oh. And it should be ready in like five minutes. Oh, it took a five minutes. Alright, so we're mixing up the bowl and the salmon now. Look at the delicious steam coming out of it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start squeezing wedges of lemon into this. And just slowly mixing it into it. Okay, so we got a little bit of the rice, the cooked rice. Here are the crushed red peppers. We do not want it too, too spicy because we, um, we have a different tolerance than uh, some folks and 
Uh, as Leo mentioned, I'd want a spice here, but for now, let's just keep it like this because it's already going to have some of a kick. Slowly add it and taste it to see what you like. Add some green onions into it. It's a lot of green onions. Um, and a little It's like a bit. Si sixth of a cup. Yeah, sixth of That's a cup. That's like more like half a cup of cilantro. So we have two wedges of lemon. I would like three wedges and then we'll taste it and see how that is. This is for a pound and a half of salmon, by the way. Typically, you want to crate it to how you'd prefer it. Whenever we cook Laotian dishes, or Laotian dishes. We never have a hard, mm -hmm. fast recipe. We mm -hmm. just adjust according to the taste. Okay, and then now I would say a spoonful of fish sauce. Amy means like a teaspoon or like a tablespoon. Yep, and then you just mix it. That looks super good. It's yummy. It smells very refreshing too. Mm -hmm. Very, very refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's that lemon. Ah! Ooh, that's a good catch. Mm. Does it need more spiciness? I usually add limes, but lemon is fine too. It needs more fish sauce. Mm -hmm. It needs a little bit more rice powder. I think it needs all the rice powder. Yeah. And honestly, it needs more of everything. Mm -hmm. So we just tasted it. We need all of this rice powder. We're gonna do all of it. We're gonna do half of this. Oh man, I hope people can eat that. And then we're gonna do a little bit more green onions. Uh, this is an ethic cow. This is an hope cow. Okay. Um, it looks about done now. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this over to um, a big bowl or a big plate. I don't, ha there's, there's a special tool that we usually use. So like a bowl, come on, just pop it out in there. And then we're gonna use a rice paddle and cool this guy off, release all that excess steam because if you don't do this step, then your rice is gonna get soggy. I would rather be doing this in a larger bowl, but beggars can't be choosers. I don't have any large bowls. Amy is using my largest bowl because this is a janky kitchen. I just moved here, what do you want from me? Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, it looks good enough. I'm just gonna leave it in this bowl, that's fine, he's fine. That looks good, Amy. It needs more lemon and numpa. Okay, let's zoom in and just do a... Ooh. It's all good. It's all delicious. So here we have the finished product. And we also have our rice here. Perfect. Um, all right, Amy, go ahead. You okay. first. So how we eat this is we take a scoop of the sticky rice, and we use it as kind of a spoon. Mm -hmm. Scoop the salmon. You want a little bit of the cilantro. As much flavor as possible in one bite, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You want to make sure a little bit of your sticky rice is touching the sauce so it absorbs it. This is going to be a lot of flavor, mm -hmm. like subtle, delicious, nice flavor. Mmm, that is refreshing. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I dropped it. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh man, that's actually really good. Amy, we did a good job. Like seriously, we did a great job. Mm -hmm. High five. That is Thank freaking you, adaptable. I love your recipe, Kup Jai. Kup Jai Kup Jai Kup Jai Bye guys, bye. Thank you for watching. Have a great meal and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button mm -hmm. and we'll continue to make more videos for you. Yeah, and I hope that you guys, you guys get to try this. So good. Yum. It's so freaking good. Yum.